Welcome to Prayer Anywhere. We are thankful that you have joined us today. God is our refuge and strength, a helper close at hand in time of trouble. Therefore, we shall not fear when the earth gives way, when its mountains tumble into the depths of the sea. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His faithful love endures forever. In my distress, I prayed to the Lord, and the Lord answered me and set me free. The Lord is for me, so I will have no fear. What can mere people do to me? Yes, the Lord is for me. He will help me. I will look in triumph at those who hate me. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in people. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. My enemies did their best to kill me, but the Lord rescued me. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has given me victory. Songs of joy and victory are sung in the camp of the godly. The strong right arm of the Lord has done glorious things. The strong right arm of the Lord is raised in triumph. The strong right arm of the Lord has done glorious things. I will not die. Instead, I will live to tell what the Lord has done. The Lord has punished me severely but he did not let me die. I thank you for answering my prayer and giving me victory. The stone that the builders rejected has now become the cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing, and it is a wonderful thing to see. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Please, Lord, please save us. Please, Lord, please give us success. Bless the one who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God, shining upon us. Take the sacrifice and bind it with cords on the altar. You are my God, and I will praise you. You are my God, and I will exalt you. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His faithful love endures forever. On that day, Deborah and Barak, son of Abinoam, sang this song. Israel's leaders took charge, and the people gladly followed. Praise the Lord. Listen, you kings, pay attention, you mighty rulers, for I will sing to the Lord. I will make music to the Lord, the God of Israel. Lord, when you set out from Sire and marched across the fields of Edom, the earth trembled and the cloudy skies poured down rain. The mountains quake in the presence of the Lord the God of Mount Sinai, in the presence of the Lord, the God of Israel. In the days of Shamgar, son of Anath, and in the days of Jael, people avoided the main roads, and travelers stayed on winding pathways. There were few people left in the villages of Israel until De Deborah arose as a mother for Israel. When Israel chose new gods, war erupted at the city gates, <clears throat> yet not a shield or spear could be seen among 40,000 warriors in Israel. My heart is with the commanders of Israel, with those who volunteered for war. 
Praise the Lord. Consider this, ye, you who ride on fine donkeys, you who sit on fancy saddle blankets, and you who walk along on the road, listen to the village musicians gathered at the watering holes. They recount the righteous victories of the Lord and the victories of his villagers in Israel. Then the people of the Lord marched down to the city gates. Wake up, Deborah, wake up. Wake up, wake up, and sing a song. Arise, Barak. Lead your captives away, son of Abinuam. Down from Tabor marched the few against the nobles. The people of the Lord marched down against mighty warriors. They came down from Ephraim, a land that once belonged to the Amalekites. They followed you, Benjamin, with your troops. From Machir, the commanders marched down. From Zebulon came those who carry a commander's staff. The princes, the princes of Issachar were with Deborah and Barak. They followed Barak, rushing into the valley. But in the tribe of Reuben, there was great indecision. Why did you sit at home among the shepherd folds to hear the shepherds? whistle for their flocks. Yes, in the tribe of Reuben, there was great indecisions. Gilead remained east of the Jordan, and why did Dan stay home? Asher sat unmoved at the seashore, remaining in his harbors. But Zebulun risked his life, as did Naphtali, on the heights of the battlefield. The kings of Canaan came and fought at Tanakh near Megiddo's springs, but they carried off no silver treasures. The stars fought from heaven. The stars in their orbits fought against Sisera. The Kishon River swept them away. That ancient torrent, the Kishon, march with courage, my soul. Then the horses' hooves hammered the ground the galloping, galloping of Sisera's mighty steeds. Let the people of Meroz be cursed, said the angel of the Lord. Let them be utterly cursed, because they did not come to help the Lord, to help the Lord against the mighty warriors. Most blessed among women is Jal, the wife of Eber, the Canaanite. May she be blessed above all the women who live in tents. Sisera asked for water and she gave him milk. In a bowl fit for nobles, she brought him yogurt. Then with her left hand, she reached for a tent peg, and with her right hand, for the workman's hammer. She struck Cicero with a hammer, crushing his head. With a shattering blow, she pierced his temples. He sank. He fell. He lay still at her feet. And where he sank, there he died. From the window, Cesara's mother looked out. Through the window, she watched for his return, saying, Why is his chariot so long in coming? Why don't we hear the sound of chariot wheels? Her wise women answer, and she repeats these words to herself. They must be dividing the captured plunder with a woman or two for every man. There will be colorful robes for, robes for Sisera and colorful embroidered robes for me. Yes, the plunder will include colorful robes embroidered on both sides. Lord, may all your enemies die like Sisera, but may those who love you rise like the sun in all its power. Everyone, one must submit to governing authorities. For all authority comes from God, and those in positions of authority have been placed there by God. Psalm 
Anyone who rebels against authority is rebelling against what God has instituted, and they will be punished. For the authorities do not strike fear in people who are doing right, but in those who are doing wrong. Would you like to live without the fear of the authorities? Do what is right, and they will honor you. The authorities are God's servants, sent for your good. But if you are doing wrong, of course you should be afraid, for they have the power to punish you. They are God's servants, sent for the very purpose of punishing those who, who do what is wrong. So you must submit to them, not only to avoid punishment, but also to keep a clear conscience. Pay your taxes, too for these same reasons. For government workers need to be paid. They are serving God in what they do. Give to everyone what you owe them. Pay your taxes and government fees to those who collect them and give respect and honor to those who are in authority. Owe nothing to anyone except for your obligation to love one another. If you love your neighbor, you will fulfill the requirements of God's law. For the commandments say, you must not commit adultery, you must not murder, you must not steal, you must not covet. These and other such commandments are summoned up in this one commandment. Love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no wrong to others, so love fulfills the requirements of God's law. This is all the more urgent, for you know how late it is. Time is running out. Wake up, for our salvation is nearer now than when we first believed. The night is almost gone. The day of salvation will soon be here. So remove your dark deeds like dirty dishes and put on the shining armor of right living. Because we belong to the day, we must live decent lives for all to see. Don't participate in the darkness of wild parties and drunkenness or in sexual promiscuity and immoral living or in quarreling and jealousy. Instead, clothe yourself with the presence of the Lord Jesus Christ. Please join us in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Lord Jesus, being home is a wonderful thing. Someday I know you will welcome me to my eternal home that has been prepared for me. Until then, I want to be mindful of the blessings of my earthly home and to always be thankful in your name. Amen. 
Thank you for joining us today. We look forward to seeing you again next time.